Question. Yes. Do you dare to show your password while somebody watching you? No. Okay. Because you're afraid that when you type it in, it might steal your password, right? Yeah. So that's the problem. And pe people can pick over or intersect or key logging or whatever phishing technique. So this program can prevent people from doing that. Okay. Let me do a demo for you. Let me log in as admin. I can do, let's see. That's the tokens that I enter for my password and we try to log in. Successful. That's the first time. I show you the second time I log in, it's changed, different. Now, watch this. Successful. Now, you see me do it twice. Yeah. I'll let you do it. See if you can log in. Admin, type in your password. Just choose one of those tokens. Or you can touch screen. Yeah, any of these. See if you can try to log in. Uh -huh. First one, choose the second one. Uh -huh. I entered four, so if yeah. you observe me, you will know there are four pins for the password. Uh -huh. Try to log in. Fail. Do you dare to try another time, another time, another time? Because it doesn't make sense, right? You right. didn't understand. Right. You didn't get my password. Right. I can try a dozen times in front of you, you still don't know. Wow. That's the invention. Wow. And this is very powerful. Everybody needs this. Totally. I, I mean, you could even use it to, to fool the people, yeah. Yeah. you know, to yeah. fool potential hackers uh -huh. and just throw a wrench it's into It's very, them. very powerful. That's, that's but amazing. I can show you the trick mm -hmm. and teach you how to successfully log in. Okay. Yeah. First of all, you come here, create a user account, type in whatever, user account, your, your name, user ID, type in okay. ID. Um, yeah, okay. And now, check availability, see if this ID has been used. Yeah, it's not been used. So, there are four different categories of symbols you can choose as your pin. Okay. You choose whatever, easy for you to remember, but hard for anybody else to see. Right. Yeah, just choose four symbols, okay. makes sense. Anyone, just remember it. Um, it will go like that. Okay. okay, yeah, first one, second one, third one. All right, save. Remember the sequence. Okay. You, did you save it? Save. Let's see. You come here, type in your ID, and enter. It will create a set of tokens right. for you right. with those symbols mixed in. Symbols, the first pin. Yes. Click on that. Yes, first one. Second one. Do you see it? Um. It does a trick. The first one is always number on the left upper corner. So your symbols will always be on the lower left side of it. Okay. So you check everything on the lower left. Do you see it? Um, I don't think I do. Okay. Select a wild card. Okay. Any, any of these. It's very powerful because it messes anybody's observation. They're looking at it, try to steal your password. You enter a wild card, throw them off. Oh, wow. Yeah. Third one? I don't see it. Okay. Choose anything. Yeah. Last one? Um, last one I see. Logging. Successful. Oh, wow. So for anybody who's trying to steal your password, they might figure this one out, but those two are missing. Yeah. How do you know which is which? Next time you try to log in, it's a different set, complete whole different set. You come here. See? Oh, wow. Log in one more time. Oh. Do you see it? Choose it. You don't I see don't it? Wildcard. Um, I don't see it. Mm -hmm. I see it. Yeah. I see it. Log in. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. That's very interesting. And here is a behind the scenes 
for anybody who's tried to study this and see how the logic works. This is my enter it, go through the network, anybody can see this, and your password on the server side, it checks the database, your password is this. So it generates 16 tokens, one of these mixed in them. At least oh, one will right, appear. Right. Not like everybody's not there, so anybody can choose random mm -hmm. ones. At least one, you need to know. And come back here to the network, come back to the screen. And from here, 16 tokens, you choose the ones that you see are on the screen. If it's missing, into the white card. Send it back to the network and send it back to the server. It checks, validates, and come back. Okay, access granted. Very interesting. <laughs> wow. So what's what's the name for this? It's called a gate. Okay. G A T E stands for. I like that. Graphic access. It's graphic. Tabular entry. It's like a table. So it's called a gate system. Very interesting. Wow. So I just got this patent last month, and I'm trying to see who is interested in marketing and uh, licensing this.